Yeah, I'm just uh, just a barber. Zach's the owner. Um, he needed a good barber, so he hired me. And then I worked, uh, now I work here. You know, as, as you've been cutting people's hair for quite a long time, um, you get to know them, and you get to know them as more than just a client uh, barber, you know, like a client barber relationship. It becomes kind of uh, more along the lines of like a friend type thing. And, uh, you know, I'm a human too. And sometimes uh, I have off days at work. And if a client comes in and asks for something and then maybe I miss the mark, not that I give them a bad haircut, but I miss the mark maybe on the haircut, um, that could be the last time I see that client. And to me, um, you know, these are people I've been seeing for six, seven, eight months, a year. And uh, I've started to really think of them as my friend, but they sometimes still look at it as a client barber relationship. And uh, I can understand why people do that. They're paying for a service. Um, they didn't get what they wanted. They're going to go elsewhere. But it still does sometimes suck. Uh, we cut old, older clients here too. Uh, and sometimes they pass away. And the family doesn't look at the barber client relationship as anything more than that. They don't look at it as a friendship thing. But we grow to care about a lot of these people that come in here. But it is the way it is. Not everybody, if you don't come into the barber shop, you don't understand, you know, the dynamic and the relationships that we build with our clients. We pride ourselves on that, actually caring about, about the people that come in. I think it's part of the reason this barber shop is successful. Good luck with everything. We'll see you.